Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a different kind of video. First thing is, is that, you know, I do cherish my life one day at a time. I do cherish it one day at a time. And I try to make decisions that doesn't impact my life to a certain extent in a, in a negative way. And yes, the sun is kind of bright because it's hitting that right angle. So, eh, uh, whatever. But anyway... Sometimes things happen to us and we have no control over it. So where I'm going with this, where I'm going with this is that I'm let me give you a quick story, which will lead up to what's what I'm talking what I'm why I'm doing this video. I remember me one of my best friends, he introduced me to this guy. And um, you know. At the time he was married, his both his kids was living at the house. His kid, one kid, was in um, was in high was it going about to go into high school. The other child just got out of high school, you know. And she was, you know, she wasn't. Let's put it this way: if she would have lost a good thirty to forty pounds, she would have been a really nice looking person, in my opinion. Okay. She was boy crazy. But anyway, this guy after talking to me for a couple after a couple for a couple weeks, one time we was drinking, he's like, "Man, I wish you would date my daughter instead of this instead of these idiots." I'm like, "Well, you know, I say, "Hey, what? Just because you wish I was, doesn't mean I really want to date your daughter, but, you know, still." And and you know, everybody has a laugh at it. But after a while, he started fixing my car. You know, he's a mechanic by, tr he's a mechanic by, you know, not by trade, but he actually works at a mechanic shop and on the, you know, he brought on to a car club. And so what happens to, for his muscle cars and, you know, classic cars and stuff like that, for his extra money, he fixed on cars. My car would break down, he'll fix on it. And the thing is, he always charged me a very fair price, you know, my idea is that whatever he wants to charge me, that's what I pay. Now, I'll tell you the truth, some things that I had a dealership pay or dealership or mechanics pay for, he paid, it was like less than half of what he, he charged less than half, just about a half or a little bit more than half than what they do. So I save a little bit of money. And that's one of the reasons why my, my Jimmy lasted a little bit longer before he had a heart attack. He had a heart attack. After the heart attack, he had to slow down all that, slow down because he was technically working every day. He didn't really take a break. He never smoked. He drank a little bit. You know, his wife passed away and, you know, he was kind of sad, but he kept himself busy. And, you know, of course, then when his daughter was bringing deuce to the house, you know, and we celebrate his birthdays and everything. Her da his daughter would bring these dipshit dudes to the house. Now, I mean, you might say, why these guys are dipshit dudes? You know, here's the thing. There's a reason why some people, there's a reason why she had a lot of attention from dudes. Because those dudes thought that they could just bang it and bang it and bounce. Let's just put it that way. Bang it and bounce. That's what they want. They wanted to bang it and bounce. One day she got pregnant and he was pit. He was cursing it up a storm. You know, I remember one time we was all out, we were drinking and, you know, he was cursing up a storm that she got pregnant. And, she, and he goes, oh, I hate this mother. You know, he, I hate this guy. And the thing is, the guy didn't want to, you know, it's funny. She's white. The guy was black. He didn't want his parents to know that they were dating. 
I don't know why, but then he got her pregnant and he pretty much disowned the child. The usual story. Single mom kind of thing. But she still managed to find boyfriends here and there, you know. And, and you look at it like, what the hell? What in the actual blue blazes is going on here? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The last time I saw, you know, we talked every now and then, you know, every time we ran at a party or something like that, we talked and stuff like that. And, you know, he seems pretty cool. And the funny thing is this guy always had a very calm and lean back demeanor. I had a calm, lean back demeanor. He had a more calm. Even if he didn't like what you like you or what you said, and sometimes I said some foul shit when I was drunk. He'll just give you this smile. <laughs> He'll just give you the smile. And you looked up, it's like, oh shit, he's smiling. What the, is he is he smiling because he's he ain't laughing? Oh shit. I must have stepped in it. But you know, you know, he didn't mind it. Last weekend, now let's you know set up the story. Stories too long to set up, but that's okay. I'm just reminiscing. He went to the hospital. I guess he caught the case. He caught COVID. Or let's just say he caught the global affliction that some people do not really take seriously. Or maybe they take too seriously. Yes, that, there you go. The global affliction. And he was, over the weekend, he was put on a respirator. When I found out about it, I was like, holy crap, that sucks. Holy shit. You know. Now, the thing is that in the past, a couple months ago, his daughter was spouting high to hell and high water that she she's not taking the vaccine. And I'm pretty sure he didn't want to take the vaccine either. Tell you, did I want to take the, I didn't really want to take the vaccine either. No one really wants to take the vaccine, but some of us do it because of our jobs. Some of us do it because of health problems like myself, because that shit could wreck. And when I caught that, when I had a case of that global affliction, I was, uh, it to, I'm not, all, I'm like probably 99% over it. <clears throat> I just have some minor sinus issues, but he was put on a respirator. And they increases like 60%, I guess 60% is oxygen flow to keep them breathing. Last su Sunday, he got better. He was getting better. Totally getting better. And I was like, okay, cool. Last Wednesday, I seen on Facebook that he passed away. And I was thinking to myself, what? He seemed to be getting better, but he passed away. Was it because of his heart condition that 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 stuff that global affliction wrecked him? Maybe, maybe, but um, it's sad. It's pretty sad. I mean, tell you the truth, it didn't hit me as hard as some other people. Of course, like his daughter's, you know, she, you know, what she she's grieving. My friend is kind of grieving. I'm not too much, but you know that this is the way how I am, but. Sometimes you got to look up and you got to be thankful for what you have. You got to be thankful for it. You got to be thankful for what you have. You got to be thankful for what you have. I know. I know I'm saying it a lot, but you you also got to think logically. Okay. I know a lot of people, have, there's a lot of emotions when it comes to that global affliction. And sometimes I fall victim to that. Sometimes I do fall victim to that. But other times I don't. But one thing I do know is that nothing's ever certain. Just when you think you're about to go to rebound, you fall further. You fall, really fall, fall further. But, you know, I've just been reflecting on that for the last couple of days. Of course, I still went to work. Today, I, 
I went to work this morning. I was supposed to take a COVID test, but for some strange reason, when I got to the place, my car was acting up. Where I, you know, I had you know, they said watch this video before you check in and everything. So I watched. I didn't stand in the line, but I, was, I parked in the regular part. Then when I tried to start my car, it just wouldn't connect. I'm like, what the hell? So got it connected. So I'm thinking maybe because I didn't, I didn't press my brake button all the way down. That's probably why it didn't connect, most likely. But you know, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to get that checked out. But then again, and because and I accidentally because I didn't think I was gonna do it because you had to go through drive through. You have to go through a drive through and I can't start the car. So I accidentally, so I didn't accidentally, I deleted it. And then as soon as I, as soon as I pressed the final button to cancel the interview, the car starts. And I was like, oh shit, can I? So I went to the drive through to see if I can try to stop it, try to get in before it registered. And it was too late. So I can't, the reason why I had to take a COVID test is because my doctor tells me that they need one before I can go to see my endocrinologist and get refills on my meds because it's to the point where, you know, like sometimes when you have the doctors, you can get refills for too, so long, but sooner or later you, they won't refill until you see them. That's where I'm at right now. So with that being said, I'm going to have to try to reschedule a fat. I'm, this was like the deep one. Now I got to do this fast one to see if I still have it. I got to set that up. And the reason why, and the thing is that I wasn't going to do a video about this until that incident happened. And that's where it, it kind of triggers that. But anyway, he was a dear friend. And it's sorry, sorry to see him go. But, you know. I'm just glad I made the decisions that I did to get, you know, to get the, to get the potentially protection shot. PPS, the potentially protective shot. But, you know, that's probably why my bout with the global affliction didn't last so long. Maybe, I don't know. There's no way to know. But anyway, you know, I don't want to, drown you guys out too much today i just wanted to say that i just wanted to drop a quick video like that today to get this shit off my chest and i'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my day uh other than that thank you very much for watching uh, like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up thumbs down well, i don't know if the thumbs down works or not i heard it might I heard it, you can do it, but it might not do something. I don't know. I haven't tested that theory out yet. Um, leave me some words of wisdom, words of knowledge, words of contempt, words of scorn. Leave some words if you like. And with that being said, you know, if you want to share it, go ahead and share this to your family, friends, and enemies too. So other than that, I'm going to sit back and enjoy, try to enjoy the rest of my day. And... Hopefully get something to eat for lunch. All right. Talk to you guys later and I'll see you next time.